Hello everyone, welcome to bsdsolutions.com. My name is Sumit and I'm a subject matter expert with Salesforce. This is my another video in Salesforce Advanced Integration. And the topic for today's video is that how to integrate Salesforce with Shopify. So basically the Shopify and Salesforce integration is taking the e-commerce and the CRM platform to different level to new heights. Because as you know that now dealing with e-commerce is much easier than before and Salesforce integrating with Shopify can help the organizations to customers to to manage their uh, to manage their customers to manage their products and it acts a bridge between Shopify and Salesforce and it is enhancing the features of e-commerce and CRM platform with the concept of service first approach and with the help of this kind of application the administrators they can easily synchronize the customers the collections the products and the orders from Shopify to Salesforce. So this integration will be very useful to them. Now, uh, what exactly Shopify does? So basically Shopify app is mainly used for selling the product and it is somehow similar to uh, like we have Amazon or Flipkart or Alibaba or other shopping web portals. And to sell the products in Shopify, we must have to, uh, we need to have a store in Shopify and then there are various connectors available which helps us to perform an integration between Shopify and Salesforce. So in this video, I'm going to demonstrate you the same. So first of all, let me show you, let me share you the interface of a Shopify. So as you can see, this is my Shopify interface and I have created a trial version of Shopify because just for demonstrating you. And as you can see in this, uh, we have certain settings we have we can create new orders we can add new products we can add customers we can perform analytics on the records we have the data we have available in shopify we can perform marketing on the data or to our existing customers and we can manage the discounts and if we want to install some apps we can do we can install those apps by using app so this is somehow similar to uh, CRM but CRM is huge and Shopify is we can say Shopify is one part of like a CRM now my requirement is whenever I create a new customers in Shopify I would like to synchronize I would like to uh, uh, create the same contact in my Salesforce CRM in order to track the data and uh, uh, to perform this, I already got a Salesforce developers account. As you can see, this is my Salesforce developer account. And this is my Shopify. So I got Shopify account. I got a store. My store name is Test Store BISP. I can go to settings and we can check other details if it is required. So that's a store and the emails and other informations I have entered. So you can also uh, create a trial version on Shopify and fill up all the details as required. After that, we are using a connector and that connector is provided by one SaaS tool. Uh, that is also, there is a trial version available for that. So you can use that. And uh, by using this one SaaS connector, we can easily integrate Salesforce with Shopify. And as you can see, uh, if I'll go to manage, so right now there are no connections. There are no connections available right now. So first of all, we need to add connections. So what are the steps which we have to follow? So the number one, you need to have a Shopify account. Number two, you need to have a Salesforce account. And number three, you need to create an account on onesas.com. So I already got an account. So when I click on this, you can see I got a retail BISP trainings and I already registered a one SaaS account. Now, uh, let me demonstrate you that how to perform integration. So let me get back to the, 
Okay, so that's the account which I'm going to use now. And the very first thing we are going to do, we are going to add a connection. So when we click on add connection, this one SaaS gives us functionality to perform an integration multi uh, among multiple tools, multiple applications. But here the requirement is to integrate Shopify with Salesforce. So I'll just look for e-commerce, click on Shopify, click on add, and you can see it says already a Shopify customer. And now we need to log into Shopify and approve the connectivity. And if you do not have any Shopify account yet, you can start with a free trial. So I click on connect to Shopify. Uh, on the screen, it opens, it asks me for a domain to which Shopify account I would like to connect. So here I need to provide a domain name and make sure you will be providing domain name till here. You are not providing, means we are not using admin. We, are, we don't include admin actually. So I just click on connect to Shopify. Uh, it will build a connection between Shopify and one SaaS. And you can see so the connection is done successfully and one connection has been built. Now the another connection we have to build between the one SaaS and Salesforce. So again, I click on add connection, look for CRM, Salesforce, CRM, click on Salesforce and connect to Salesforce. Now here, uh, when you click it first time, it will ask you to log into your Salesforce account. So when you click on connect to Salesforce, it will ask your Salesforce detail. In my case, it's not going to ask any, uh, any details because I have already permitted. You can see it's verifying connection to Salesforce because my Salesforce is already open and I've already tried once. So that's why it's not asking permission from me. But just in case, if you are doing it very first time, you need to permit one SaaS to uh, fetch the data from your Salesforce so to perform an uh, connectivity with your Salesforce. So that you have to do in very first step. Now you can see uh, the connectivity has been done and uh, the Shopify is connected with Salesforce. So there is a connection has been connection has been set up between Shopify and Salesforce. Now there are certain settings which we can set. So my requirement is that whenever we create a customer in Shopify, we would like to create a contact in Salesforce. So I just select this option and I don't want to sync it manually. So first of all, I save this and I don't want to sync it manually. So I say turn auto sync on if you're not, so even if you're not, uh, so next sync in 40 minutes in every 40 minutes, it is going to sync. But just in case, if you want to sync, uh, quickly as per your requirement, you can manually sync also. You can perform manual sync also. So now, as you can see, I have clicked on man, uh, manual syncing. So it's trying to synchronization, but right now there are no customer records. We don't have any customer records at present. So nothing to add in Salesforce. So let it wait and uh, it's loading. And you can see no data was synchronized for this work. work. So there was no record for synchronization. Now, let me do one thing. Let's test it out. And in order to test it, I'm going to add a new customer in my Shopify. And let me add a new customer details. So I'm just providing the details. Nine one is already there. So I'm just providing and the first name that's for address actually address uh, i'm just giving address city gopal india madhya pradesh sorry madhya pradesh and uh, It doesn't collect text, no texts, and okay, that's all. Now let me save this record. So a new customer is added. We can preview this customer. Now what I'm going to do, I just click on account. I just click on my one SaaS. And because it will be going to perform auto sync in next 39, 39 minutes, another 39 minutes, I would like to, uh, I would like to sync it right now. So I'm going to manually sync it. So I just trigger a manual sync now by clicking on sync 
now. And now once the sync synchronization is completed successfully, we will be going to have a look that a new record will be added in our Salesforce contact uh, object. So let's have a look, let it finish first. And then I'm going to have a look that uh, the record is inserted or not. So let the synchronization process complete. So synchronization process is completed and you can see, I got a report that one contact created in Salesforce, which is named as Salesforce. So it's successfully done. Now let's go and verify. So I'm going to navigate to my Salesforce and in my Salesforce, I'll go to contact and you can see a record has been inserted. A record is inserted here. And if we preview this record, we can see the details of these, this record. Can see okay all the records which we entered over there is coming here so that's the way we can uh, perform an integration between the shopify and salesforce to create customers we have other functionalities like whenever we create a new order in shopify it will create an opportunity whenever we create an order it will create a new order in salesforce or whenever we add a product in shopify it will create a new item in Salesforce. So we have such kind of uh, integration. So that's the way how we can track the records, how we can track the data from Shopify into Salesforce. So uh, this process keeps going on until we do not stop the synchronization. So that's all in this video. I hope you like this video and you got an idea that how we can an integration between Shopify and Salesforce. If you have some queries, you can post your comments in comment box. If you need a customized training on Salesforce, you can contact us. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day. Goodbye.